Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced React WordPress Theme Development. In this episode, we are going to talk about pagination. Now, pagination is one of the most basic requirement of many of the projects. And I'm sure in your development career, you might have come across this many times. So let's begin. So before we start building the pagination, I just want to give you some brief information of what are the best practices when we implement pagination. Now, if you want to really understand the best practices, best resource I will recommend you is the blog written by Jason Ball on wpgraphql.com. And Jason Ball is the author of the WP GraphQL plugin, which is, which is what we are using in this project. Now, he's written a really, really good blog on forward and backward pagination and, and what type of pagination implementation is good for performance. So there are two types of pagination we're going to talk about. Uh, first is your page based pagination and second is cursor based pagination. So many applications like Google, as you can see, is using a page based pagination. Even if you go to WordPress and if you search some of the posts, WordPress uses the page based pagination and you must have seen the 2020 theme as well. Now, how does this page based pagination work? Basically, you need to calculate the total number of records matching the query and divide the total number by the total result requested for each page, right? So the first problem is that WordPress has to calculate the total number of records in order for you to generate those page numbers. We need to know how many records are present. So if you must have worked with the WordPress query, you know that we passed the no found row equals two in the WP query, which immediately tells WordPress not to calculate the total number of records, right? And the reason for this is because it takes long time for it to calculate the total number of records. So when you are doing page based pagination, we have to calculate the total number of records, which is not very performant. So let's say you are on the page number two and you directly go to the page number eight, WordPress is going to skip those 80 records in order for it to show you what is there on the eighth page. And depending on which page you are on, you could really be skipping a lot of records, which can really create the load on your server. Now this blog also talks about that there's a lack of value for the page number. For example, that uh, if you are on the page one, for example, right, and you don't know what will be there on page three. Correct. So it's not much of the value. So what is recommended in that case? So what you could do is that you could go for the cursor based pagination. So in cursor based pagination, you don't really need to calculate the total number of records. It basically gives you a certain number of records along with the cursor. Now the, that cursor is actually your reference point, which you can then use to get the next set of records taking that reference. So some of the examples you can see would be load more and you must have seen load more being implemented on a lot of sites, example, Twitter and Facebook. You could also use the previous and next as well. So because when you're doing the previous and next and not having the numbered pagination, which is the page based pagination, then in that case, uh, you're just going to the next record. You're not really skipping any records. So this is really good for your performance because you're not skipping records. So Justin Paul has also given an example over here. Uh, so if you open this in a sandbox, you can see that you have an option of the next and previous. And if you look at the query, it basically in the query, you can use the has next page and has previous page. And it's also got the end cursor, etc. right? So we are going to go deep into this and I will explain to you how this works and we will implement that in this project. Now, having said that, there will still be clients who will tell you that no, I want the page based pagination. So which is why in this tutorial series, I'm going to teach you both the ways of doing it. I'm going to show you how to do the page based pagination, as well as the cursor based pagination, um, where we just implement the load more. Okay. So the first example I'm showing you here is the page based pagination, as you can see that you not only have the previous and next, but you also have an option to go to any of the pages. And if you notice on the URL, uh, the URL changes to the page five and it's loading 
that many records, okay? So you don't have this total number of records available by default, so we can use a plugin extension, a WordPress plugin extension, and that is called the WP GraphQL Offset Pagination. What this does basically, it actually adds the traditional offset pagination support to WP GraphQL. And as it mentions that you can use it to implement the number, numbered links to the pages, and it's going to give you that total number of records as well, right? So we have already installed this package via Composer, but if you haven't, then just make sure that you have this plugin, which is the value WP GraphQL offset pagination in your composer.json file, and then you run composer install and install it. So I'm assuming this already been done. If you're not using our project with Docker, you could also uh, use your own WordPress setup, and then you can download this plugin by going on to this repository. So I'm currently inside of the graphical IDE, and I've written this query for posts. And as you can see that I'm getting where clause and then offset pagination, offset pagination, and the size is 10. So basically I want 10 posts per page. For my offset is currently null, because this is going to be the first page with the first 10 posts. So let's go ahead and hit this. So now you can see that I'm getting 10 posts over here, right? And I'm also getting the total number of records that I have available, right? Now let's say I want the next 10 page, I can do offset equals 10, which means get me the next 10 posts. So if I hit it now, I'm getting the next 10 posts. And same way, when you want the page number three, then you put this at 20, and then you'll get the, the following 10 posts, okay? All right, so in the next video, we're going to start building this pagination, or we'll start coding. And I would like to give special thanks to Jason Ball for writing an excellent blog and also authoring a great plugin and also to Essa Matty for writing this WP GraphQL offset pagination plugin. All right, so I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And please do start my repository to support my work like all the beautiful 93 people have. And follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Coditech. And please follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imran8Sayed. All right, so I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much.